check this out. There's a vast closet in his tiny apartment that's full of mason jars. Mason's mason jars, to be more specific. The endless shelves hold armyfuls, strong and glassy and tempting. Four up from the bottom and 17 over, filled to the capacity of pretentious adolescent eye rolls and flakes of chrome glitter. Move eight up and 13 or so over, crammed with the envelopes of every Christmas card he'd ever received. Scotch tape, rips, tears, and all. Fourth column from the left and 28 down are the knots from every kink worked out of his homework back. The very last slot on the ninth row up, papers with a tally mark for every time he'd missed the Oxford comma. Twelve down in the same column, his ugliest high school report card. Notable apology letter attached to the front. More of a specialty is the third that sits on the bottom, from the right, not the left. It's every lint trapper treasure he pulled out of our loads of distinct color and jeans pile. And I remember when he tried to catch the nonsense waterworks from my cheek on the laundry room floor, but I can't find that jar because he never bothered with labels when you could see it as you pleased. And there's a solid pain in my knees, so I'll retire to the floor and let the wall envelop me in utter size. This might as well be Berlin. Woo. But I could tear this glass house down, and he still wouldn't come back. He couldn't come back. There's an empty jar on the floor of the closet, vacant, lonely, relatable company. Glistens and catches my aging, welled-up eyes, but it's tilted on its side, and the floor is stained with salty water, where a label sits in the middle, familiar red expo marker and construction paper. It reads, why the waterworks, mom, I'm here, I'm all here. <laughs> <laughs>